By popular demand, here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup to help our new besties find some of our favorite videos. This week, the theme is fashion! The summer is here and we know that your dolls could use a larger wardrobe. From overalls to no-so swimsuits, we've got you covered. My wardrobe, yeah, it's pretty much full of fan t-shirts. But our dolls require a little more variety. So sit back, relax, and enjoy these fabsome DIYs. I am going to make a beach hat for a doll using cotton yarn, a plastic bag, something round, foil, and a clear drying glue. I start by finding an object to fit the doll's head. If one cannot be found, shape aluminum foil to the doll's head, carefully remove it, make a flattened ball of aluminum foil to fit underneath for support. I use another piece of foil to smooth it out and smooth out the bottom edge to make a model of the doll's head. If I'm using another object, I place foil over that as well. After smoothing it out, apply a clear drying glue Push one end of the yarn into the glue, then begin coiling it all the way around, applying glue as needed. Going all the way around, when it gets down to the bottom, I just continue to go around to make a brim. Trim off the excess, allow it to completely dry overnight, once dried, carefully peel away the foil to have the shape of a hat. Now I have noticed that on the underside of some of my hats, the foil has left an impression in the glue. This isn't really a problem for the hats with a lot of pattern. However, on the darker hat, I want to cover this up. So I cut a circle out of a piece of fabric, then glue it to the inside of the hat. Allow it to dry, trim off the excess, to line the inside of the hat and give it a polished look. Use the oblong side of a large Easter egg, then covered it just as before, only this time we stopped at the bottom. Allow it to dry and carefully remove the foil. Gently flatten the bottom, push the sides in a little, cut two pieces of yarn the same length, glue them on the inside. I can even attach it to the bottom, go up the side and around, to make a beach bag, place long strands of yarn side by side on a smooth piece of foil, brush with glue, then continue adding yarn. Once I've reached the desired width, allow it to dry, then carefully peel it from the foil. And when making this project, it's really important that the foil is smooth so that it comes out smooth on both sides. Trim the ends to make a beach towel. And when deciding on a glue for this project, I chose Mod Podge because it keeps the items flexible. And a flexible fabric glue would also work as well. And you're done. Happy crafting! going to make a bunny ear scarf for a doll using fabric, pipe cleaners, a needle and thread, or a sewing machine. I start by trimming the fluff off of a pipe cleaner. Place the pipe cleaner around the doll's head and then give it a little twist. Trim off the excess so it's even, remove it from the doll, straighten it out, fold over the end just a little bit so the end is no longer sharp. Place the pipe cleaner on the fabric and cut a rectangle around it. With the good side facing up, fold it in half, sew a straight line across the top and then angle it towards the corner using a needle and thread or a sewing machine. And with my sewing machine, I am going to sew a line all the way down, leaving a space in the middle. Then 
Then I sew across the corner at an angle. Repeat on the other side, trim off the excess, use the opening to turn it right side out. The end of a paintbrush can help with some of the hard to reach places. Once it is right side out, push the pipe cleaner through the opening and use a needle and thread to close it. Tie and trim off the excess, wrap it around the doll's head and twist it at the top. The wire will allow it to hold its shape and give your doll a bunny ear inspired look. Make one longer to wrap around the doll to make a poseable scarf that stays in place. Use fun wire for larger dolls or even recycle wire from doll packaging. Adjust the size to fit your doll, then tie it, curl it, or twist it into a number of different styles, and you're done. Happy crafting! Using an old t-shirt and a pair of scissors, I am going to make a no-sew doll dress. Cut a large circle out of the center of your shirt. My circle has a diameter of about 13 and a half inches. Then fold it in half, fold it in half again to find the center. Trim off a portion that will be big enough to allow your doll's head to pass through. Make any adjustments that you may need. Use your doll to mark where the armholes should be. Cut out a hole that is just big enough for the arm to pass through. Cut another thin strip off of your t-shirt. Pull it until it makes a cord. With upward facing arms, slide your doll into the dress through the holes. Tie the cord around her waist. And you're done. I am going to make a swimsuit for a doll using fabric, ribbon, pins, a needle and thread, scratch pieces of paper, a sewing machine, and Velcro. Using ideas from our custom Sailor Moon video, I start by drawing a triangle on a piece of scratch paper. Cut it out, leaving a little around the edge for a seam allowance. Place it on fabric to use as a pattern. Pin it to the fabric. Carefully cut it out. I am going to need four triangles, so I first cut two out of my main fabric, then two more out of a thinner coordinating fabric. Cut a long thin strip of fabric for the straps and another strip to go under the bust. Take the fabric for the straps, lay it good side facing down, then fold over the edges, iron it flat, fold again, and iron. Using a needle and thread or a sewing machine, sew a straight line all the way down, cut the strap in half, 
Lay the triangles with the good side facing up, place the straps on top, followed by the other set of triangles. Use a quick stitch with a needle and thread to hold the strap in place, then sew along the two sides of the triangle. Turn them right side out, lay it on the doll to see how it should be placed. I make a quick stitch so I don't lose my place. Take the other strip of material, lay it on top, sew a straight line across, fold it over and iron flat, creating a clean edge along the top. Flip it over, fold the bottom up one, then another and iron flat. Sew across the top edge, sew across the ends, then tie it on to finish the top or pin, and sew on Velcro. Slide the straps underneath, pin them in place, then sew and trim off the excess to make a top that is easy to put on. Now cut two rectangles of fabric that can fit around the doll's leg. Lay it good side to good side, draw a long J shape at one end, sew on the line drawn, trim off the excess, and I like to finish my edges with a zigzag stitch to keep them neat. Lay it flat, cut another piece of fabric that is the same length, and with the good side to good side, line up the top edge, sew a straight line, flip it so the good side is facing down, fold over the sides and sew them down, then fold over the top and do it again. Iron flat, then open, lay a long piece of ribbon inside, then fold it over making sure the ribbon is at the top of the crease, sew a straight line all the way across, being careful not to hit the ribbon. Fold up the bottom to hem on the front, sew on ribbon for detail, try it on the doll inside out, sketch out a J shape under the waistband. With the good side on the inside, I fold the fabric over, then sew on the line drawn. Trim off the excess and clean the edge, then open them up, matching up the center seams. Sew a line straight across, flip them right side out, place it on the doll and pull the drawstring, tie it in a bow to make a bathing suit for swimming, surfing, or hanging out around the pool. Make it smaller and use ribbon for the straps. Make a simpler top by cutting a rectangle, hem both sides, sew Velcro to the ends, pinch, and sew the center to gather the top. Make the shorts longer to fit the guys, and you're done. Happy crafting! going to make a bathing suit for a doll using this stretchy material I found at the fabric store. However, you can always harvest last year's bathing suit if it provides enough material. I start by cutting a piece of material that can go all the way around my doll. And I cut a piece that's the same length as her torso, leaving a little extra at the top and bottom for a seam allowance. When I'm making this for a smaller doll like Barbie, I hem the top and bottom with a zigzag stitch. But when I make it for a larger doll like American Girl, I cut two, lay them good side to good side, cut a long strip of material, fold it in half with the good side on the inside, sew a straight line along the edge, but be careful because material like this tends to shift when sewing. Attach a safety pin to one end, then use it to turn it inside out. Cut it into two pieces, lay your material on your doll, place the long tubes where you would like the straps to be, then sandwich them between the material, lay the other piece back on top, and pin into place. The longer portion of your straps should be hanging between the material. Sew a zigzag stitch across the top, backing over the straps a few times. Before sewing the bottom up, push the straps inside the garment then close it down to make sure they are not sewn when you go across with your zigzag stitch. Flip it right side out. Place it on your doll with the wrong side facing out. Turn her over and use pins to decide where you need the back stitches to go. 
It should be sewn on an angle from the top of the back to the lower end. Trim off the excess. I place the back of my doll inside out and with that little extra piece that was at the bottom of the garment, I'm going to pull from the front and attach it to the back. I run a stitch across it a few times back and forth to make sure it's secure. Flip it right side out. Try it on your doll and tie the straps behind her neck. You can even pinch it at the top and use a needle and thread to give her a sweetheart top. Like we did on this Barbie. And you're done. I am going to use some socks to make a no-sew outfit for a doll. To make a top, I cut off the neck of the sock. I cut two small armholes out of the sides and then dress my doll from the bottom up. I can make a skirt by cutting off the bottom of another sock and I dress the doll so that the raw edge is on the inside. I tuck under the bottom edge of the shirt to make it neat. Add our no sew vest, a hairband as a belt. You can also try our doll scarf made from an old t-shirt. And you're done. Happy crafting! On a side note, since these are no-sew outfits, excessive pulling can damage them and cause the socks to run. I would personally take a needle and thread and go around the edges just to secure them so that they last just a little bit longer. Here is our quick no sew bathing suit. All you need is a sock and a pair of scissors. You can try baby socks for smaller dolls. I lay my sock on the doll to judge where I need the neck opening to be, which is going to be right around here. Then I'm going to cut a little extra for straps. I cut out a small semicircle. I always say start small because you can always enlarge it later. Now I'm going to cut an allowance for the straps. Cut straight down and start to curve off to the other side of the sock. Next I cut down the middle of my straps. Open up the bottom of my sock, lay it flat, cut out small notches for the legs. Try it on the doll, and since this is a cut sock, the edges might not be as clean as you like, so you can just try to tuck them in. Adjust and play with the top until you get the look that you like. I'm just going to take it and twist it to try and hide those rough edges, and then tie it behind her neck. And if you would like to make a wrap for your doll, just take the top portion of the sock, cut it on a curved angle. Cut another thin strip off the sock. Pull it until it curls. Then tie it on the hip. And you're done. Happy crafting!
Let's get the look. We are going to make a trendy cardigan kimono for a doll using a recycled scarf, trim, a needle and thread, or a sewing machine. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with hot or sharp objects. I start by measuring the doll to the fabric. Cut a rectangle that reaches from arm to arm. Fold it over to see the desired length, adding a little extra for the hem. This thin scarf material frays easily. So when making the hem, I fold it over twice, use an iron to crease it, sew a straight line using a needle and thread, or a sewing machine. After it has been hemmed all the way around, we fold it in half so the good side is on the inside, sew a line straight down on the sides, making the sleeves. On the top fold, cut a small hole, then on the front, cut a line going straight up the center. Then cut off the corners to round out the neckline. Cut a long strip of fabric, line it up with the cut edge, sew a straight line, going all the way around. And we have a little bit of material left over, so we are just going to fold that up, make a crease. On the side of the strip, we fold over and crease the raw edge. Flip it over to the other side so that all of the raw edges are on the inside. Carefully turn it right side out, sew a straight line, going all the way around for a top stitch to make a basic cardigan kimono. To give it a 70s inspired look, we can add trim to the bottom edge. We can also define the sleeves by flipping it inside out, sew and cut out a rectangle from the sides, finishing the edge with a zigzag stitch. So when we turn it right side out, we have a long sleeve. Pair it with jeans and a t-shirt, a pair of sandals, cut a piece of chain that can fit around the doll's head, place a jump ring on one end, then the other, take another jump ring and open it, place a charm on the jump ring, then the chain, and close it to make a necklace. Add a pair of sunglasses for a fabsome, trendy look. And you're done. Happy crafting! Going to make a simple romper for a doll using cotton fabric, paper to draw a pattern, thread, elastic, and a sewing machine. I start by cutting a large rectangle of paper. When compared to the doll, it is reaching from the shoulder to the top of the knee. I make sure it can wrap around the doll's leg with about a thumb extra. Lay the paper near the doll. I want the bottom of the romper to be right about where her shorts are. So I place it there with a little extra for the hem. Make a mark for the inseam. Fold the paper in half. Starting at the line marked, cut a J shape going all the way to the top. And this is going to be the pattern. Place it onto a piece of fabric. And I'm using a little piece of chalk to outline it. Cut it out. Repeat to make two. Lay them good side to good side. Then sew from the top all the way down and around the curve. Open it up and sew a zigzag across the top. Lay a piece of elastic near the edge. Fold over the top and do a straight stitch across. Sew a zigzag along the raw bottom edges. And the zigzag helps to prevent the fabric from fraying. Then fold over and show a straight line to hem. So now we've just hemmed the bottom of the shorts. Place the doll on top and make a mark for the waist. And I just used a little blue chalk to make the line easier to see. However, be careful when using colored chalk because sometimes it may stain the fabric. Place a piece of elastic over the line. Use a straight stitch at the top to tack it in place. 
I switch to a zigzag and sew it down, pulling slightly as I go, causing it to gather. Fold it over, matching up the sides. Pull the elastic at the top to gather. Sew a straight line going down, stopping at the end of the curve. Trim off the excess. Now, I open it at the bottom and match up the ends. Sew a straight line going across. Turn it inside out. Place it on the doll feet first. Add a necklace. I made the top long so that it can fold over. However, you can always adjust it to fit your style and your doll. I can also make one without sewing in the elastic waistband, resembling a pair of high-waisted shorts. Take a long strip of fabric, fold over the edges. On the ends, I fold in the corners, then fold the whole thing in half. Sew a straight line along the edges to make a belt to tie around the waist. I made two more and pinned them to the top, making straps to tie behind the neck. And you're done. Happy crafting! But when you touch my hair, it all goes away. The things I planned, the things I would say. Now I keep rambling on. I sound so cliche. What I am trying to do is say I love you. Ooh, 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 ooh. And all the things that you do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sounds like a fool, cause when you touch my hair. going to make overalls for a doll using fabric, hook and eyes, needle and thread, and a sewing machine. To make these overalls, I'm using a thin blue jean material. However, cotton prints can work as well, or even an old denim shirt. I start by using a doll as a guide. Cut a rectangle of fabric that can fit around the widest part of the doll's leg. Add a finger width of space for a seam allowance and trim off the excess. With the good side facing down, place it on the doll just above the waistline, leaving space for the hem. Mark the inseam, then sketch a line with a curve. Fold it in half, make marks on the other side so you can flip it over and draw the line. So the curved line is on both sides. And I'm actually gonna make a pattern by tracing this onto a piece of felt. And I cut away at the curve so that I can trace it onto a piece of fabric so I can make another one. Now I want to add some detail using stitching. So I turn them over, placing the pattern on top. I make some notes of where I may want some extra stitching to be. Using a pencil or chalk, sketch it out to sketch the side seam, sketch a line for a pocket. Then using a needle and thread, I begin to stitch over my lines and I enter the fabric just a little bit ahead of my last stitch and then go down right in front of that prior stitch. And I just continue using small stitches going all the way up the line. Cut small squares, fold over, and hem the top. I can even stitch a design in the center. Fold over the sides, then sew it in place. Turn under and hem the bottom. Place the fabric good side to good side, then sew along the curve on the front side. Trim off the excess fabric so the two pieces are now joined. Cut a rectangle of fabric, leaving space for a seam allowance all the way around. Make another small pocket, sew it to the front of the rectangle, fold over and hem the sides, fold over and hem the top. Take the unfinished edge and line it up with the top of the pants. When it's in the middle of the center seam, begin to stitch it straight across. And I want it right in the middle of that center seam. Sew a straight line across, right at the top hemline. Cut a long thin strip, fold in the sides, sew two lines all the way down, cut it in half to make two. With the good side facing down, lay them onto the pants, lining up the top edge right above the pocket. Sew a straight line at that top hem, Flip all the attached pieces up, allowing it to fold over the top hem. Sew across the top, 
and I chose to sew a double line. Then I fold the fabric over, lining up the side edge, and sew along the drawn line. I place it on the doll and make any necessary adjustments. And I needed to shorten the top bib and take in the back seam to make it a little more fitted. Trim off the excess, take the ends, and line them up. Sew a line straight across and I chose to go back and forth a few times to reinforce the stitch to make the legs. Turn it right side out, place it on the doll. I cross the straps in the back, take the strap over the shoulder to measure for length, fold it over, sew an eye onto the end and a hook onto the bib, trim off the excess, use a nail file to add distress, then fasten the hook and eye Adjust the size and length to fit your doll, and you're done. Happy crafting! I am going to make a no-sew dress for a doll by modifying our no-sew vest tutorial using a stretch knit fabric that doesn't fray, tulle, small safety pins, beads and jewels, and glue. To make the basic dress, I start by cutting a rectangle of fabric. Place the doll in the center of the fabric, make a small mark at the shoulders, cut a small hole, slide the doll's arms through the holes, crisscross the fabric in front, cut a thin strip of the material, Tie it around her waist. I can leave the bottom as is, or I can trim it to make it even. To complete the basic dress. To add variation to the dress, I can fold back the top to make a collar, wrap tulle around the waist, and tie in the back. I can cut a piece of tulle in the same shape as the dress, put both layers on the doll, wrap tulle around the waist, take a piece of tulle behind the neck and under the arms, and tie in the back. To make a sheer sleeve, cut small circles out of leftover fabric, then fold it in half, then fold it in half again, make several, glue them together, adding acrylic jewels for decoration, then pin it to the dress using a safety pin. I can double the layers for a fuller skirt and trim the bottom. I can try different ways of tying the waistband to create different looks. And if I don't mind a little sewing, then I can stitch those folded circles onto the dress. Add lace or whatever else you like, and you're done. Happy crafting! Thank you for joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup. And let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. We have new vids every day. Follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we currently have a fashion giveaway on our Instagram at MyFroggyStuff right now. So be sure to go and follow us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye!